Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today for a Paper Flourish craft video. I'm going to make a card today using the Visible Image Follow Your Heart stamp set. It's a really lovely stamp, the heart, and there's, there's a lot going on in the background of this stamp as well. It's got some other stamps, some hearts here, you've got your heartbeat, love you on the side. So I think this is a really useful stamp. It could be done for just a card to tell someone you love them. It could be used for an engagement, for a wedding, for an anniversary. So a lot of, lot of uses for this stamp. So I'm going to make a card and we're going to use some sprays and then stamp this gorgeous stamp onto the card. I have a piece here of white multifarious cardstock. Let's put my piece of paper down. White multifarious cardstock, the Lavinia multifarious cardstock. And I've cut out a five inch square to use. So I'm going to get my splatter box and I've got the lovely periwinkle Lavinia acrylic spray. So I'm going to use this over the whole card front. It's the most gorgeous purpley blue colour. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to coat that card in the spray and then I'm just going to dry it. Now the heat tool. I want to start with just that lovely colour, periwinkle. You'll see as it dries, it goes lighter. You can see that happening? It's a lovely card, a lovely colour on the card. It is an acrylic spray, so it doesn't have any mica or shimmer in it. It's just such a beautiful colour. Don't take long, that'll be all dry. Very, very pretty. Almost there. I do love these acrylic sprays, not only on cards, I love using them in journals. They're really great. They will dry permanent so you can do other work on top of them. One of those few sprays that you can do that with. Okay, so we've got our lovely purpley, purpley blue card. I might just give it a bit of a dry on the back as well just to make sure it is nice and dry but we're going to add some more spray to this it's quite a dark color it's, it's not a dark but it's a deeper color so I want to make sure our image is going to show up nicely on the card so I'm going to give it a spray now just towards the middle we'll see what happens with the Stamperia aqua color white spray pearl white beautiful shimmery spray i'm going to give this a shake just to make sure that sh um, shimmers throughout it and i'm just going to add a little bit of this around the middle of the card just randomly and i'm going to dry that so it's going to lighten off the area a bit but it's also going to add some shimmer onto the card you might be able to see that happening already once it's dry i'll hold it up to the camera a bit closer so you can see that it is so pretty. Just feel the romance already, can't we? There we go, almost dry. I'm not going to dab any away. I'm just going to let it dry as it does. As it is. It's almost dry already. Let's turn over and give the back a good dry. We are going to be doing some stamping and some embossing onto this, so I want it to be 100% dry. That's almost there. There we go. Let's have a look. Have a look at the shimmer and shine now sitting on that card. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see it there when I turn that? That is a lovely spray, that one really pretty so we've got our purple in the background we can get rid of the splatter box now and that shimmery center to the card so i'm going to stamp the love stamp right into the middle here onto all that shimmer i'm going to do this on the stamp press so i want to make sure i want to stamp it a couple of times so i can get a really strong inky image and then we'll get that clear embossing powder onto it as quickly as I can. I'm going to stamp with the Versafine Clear Nocturne ink. 
you've probably seen me do this before on some of the other cards i found this works extremely well and stays wet just long enough to be able to get that clear embossing powder on there so let's pop the heart in the middle such a beautiful stamp this one do you think that looks like the middle hope so oops i've managed to move that a little bit i hope wherever you are today or whatever you're doing you've had a really good day maybe had some chance to do some craft it's always a good day when we get a chance to do some craft isn't it okay let's ink this up not sure where murphy is at the moment came home from work he was extremely sooky this afternoon he's had lots of cuddles on my lap we'll see if he he makes an appearance it's very very sooky today giving this a really good inking over and stamp the image onto the card give it a good press as long as that card doesn't move when i bring it up we might give it another go right that stayed in place which is good and i said it could do with a little bit more ink on the card off we go again see that love in the middle just needs a little bit more ink on it see if we get it this time if not we do it a third time that's the beauty of using your stamp press you can do this as many times as you need to i think i'm going to try that one more time okay so we should have a nice inky image going on there i probably should have gone over this card with the anti-static pad first that would have been a good idea so if you're doing this at home i do recommend you do that i've got it in front of me and completely forgot to do it okay quick as i can now i'm going to get that clear embossing powder onto the card i've got my paper all ready to go super fine clear the ranger embossing powder let's pop that on there buried it under it didn't I okay all right Look over here so that the image now has that embossing powder on it a little bit on the side here I'm just going to get my big fluffy brush and take that off there and do that you can sort of see if it's landed I think that's the only spot where it, where it went and it wasn't meant to okay because more likely to or to not have that happen if you run that anti-static pad over your card first which i should have done i just completely forgot all right now before i heat that i'm just going to give my mat a good bit of a wipe because i seem to always get embossing powder everywhere all over it there we go put the paper back down Whoop. And let's bring this back and let's bring our image back. I'm going to stamp the sentiment in a moment, so I'll try and remember to use the anti-static pad for that. All right, let's bring this gorgeous image back. There it goes. So pretty it's even got butterflies and everything in this stamp circles script the word i can see the word passion in there the more you look at this stamp the more you see in it and i find that happens you can that pretty much goes with most of the visible image stamps all right it's doing pretty well here a little bit more in the middle Almost brought that back. Okay, so we've got our gorgeous love heart now on our shimmery, purpley background. Pretty, isn't it? Can you see that? 
so you can see that clear embossing powder is now just made that made that image come out come to life that bit more all right there we go that's all nice now okay so the the stamp i'm going to use i'm actually going to use the stamp from the stamp set love you i just think that might look nice down here on the corner visible image has some uh, a lot of different ones you could use in fact oh will i use love you no, I think I'm going to do this. Let's pop that aside for a moment. Change my mind. How unusual for me. The no filter stamp set, hashtag love. I think that's my choice. I'm going to pop that one on the card. Um, I could also, I mean, there's a lot of different romantic stamps. The go-to word stamp set has thinking of you. It's got on your wedding day on there. Congratulations, which would look nice on an engagement card. You've also got the wedding day stamp on your wedding day. And, of course, that has the verse that goes in the middle of the card too. So a lot of different choices. But I'm going to go with the no filter stamp set. Hashtag love in the bottom corner. Now, my thoughts were to stamp this in silver embossing powder. Stamp this, sorry, and emboss it with the silver. Okay. So I've got here the Ranger silver embossing powder anti-static pad let's pop this down here i might still stamp it in the versifying clear okay but then emboss it in the silver let's bring back that paper so it's all ready to roll whoops i was managed to throw it off my table here we go oh i can see murphy you can't see him but he's actually having a sleep under the curtain in the craft room he likes to do that he hides behind it and has a nap so he often has a little nap after he's had his dinner. So I think he's probably a bit tired. Had his dinner, had his cuddles with mummy, and now he's having his nap. There we go. Hashtag love. Let's pop that on the bottom corner here of the card. There we go. And let's get that silver embossing. It actually looks quite nice just in the black as well. I could have left it like that, but I promise you silver embossing powder. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's tip that back in. There we are. And let's give that a heat. Alright. There we go. Oh, that's come up nice. It looks nice because it sort of matches the shimmery background as well pretty so there we've got our silvery hashtag love we've got our shimmer in the background the heart and the card front is done i will make this up into a card and you'll see that on the front of the or the the picture for the video thank you so much for watching have a great day everyone and i'll be back again soon with more craft videos thank you enjoy your day bye bye